everyone! Today I would like to tell you about 7 things we did to score 100 on Google PageSpeed Insights and what you can do too. So if you would like to increase the speed of your blog or your website, stay with me and watch this episode. But before we will start, remember about subscribing our channel with the red button down there and remember to turn on the notifications and also give us some thumbs up. Hello everyone! Today I will tell you about 7 methods to score 100 on Google PageSpeed Insights. If you're a blogger or if you have a website, you probably would like others to come and read your content, right? That's normal. And you can be a little bit demotivated if you see that only people who follow you on your social media come often to your page and read your content because nobody new come and you are not motivated, right? And as a blogger, I bet that you probably already know that the biggest amount of audience you can get by search engines. But how to rank high on Google? There are two of the most important things that Google algorithm pay attention to. So the first thing is the quality of your content. But I assume that if you are writing about something that is passionable for you or about some interesting topic, you are giving your audience the best possible content you can, right? And the second thing that is so, so, so important for Google is our page speed. And this is something what we are going to talk about today. I will give you seven, seven things which you can do and which we also did to score 100 on Google PageSpeed Insight. And now our blog is loading like this. Okay, let's start. And by the way, all the links for uh, this video you will find below. So, the first thing and really, really important thing that you can do to make your blog load really, really fast is to use a static page generator like Hugo, for example. When we are starting our blog, it was a few years ago, and like the most obvious choice for us was to select WordPress. It was easy to use, it was fast to set up, there were plenty of ready themes, they look really, really pretty, there were free plugins to use, and so on and so on and so on. So we started, we started to create some posts, and some time ago we get a red notification from Google. Hey guys, your page is not loading very fast. Then we decided to do something about it because we didn't want to lose our positions and our CEO. So, we did some research and we found out about static page generators. We decided to select Hugo because it's fast, it's flexible and it also has some free templates to choose from. Besides that, it's really, really easy to uh, migrate your WordPress blog to Hugo just using the... Uh, I think it was a plugin. And also you can migrate uh, from different platforms really, really easy and start using it. And I have a good news for you. Tomorrow my friend will publish the video where he will show you step by step how to do it. So make sure you will visit our blog tomorrow and check this tutorial out. Let's go to point two. Another thing that we did was using AMP. So when we were migrating our WordPress, WordPress blog to Hugo, we found out about Google's framework AMP. And that was like a huge aha moment. So we decided to do some more research and we found that Hugo already has some templates with implemented AMP. Uh, the one we used was Amperage and uh, it was looking pretty good. And besides that, that we could migrate our blog really, really fast, we could get some extra points from Google for using this framework uh, because it decreased our loading speed even more than just using Hugo. 
Uh, what's the difference? Uh, to use uh, AMP, we need to use some special tags for your images, for your iframes, and it makes it uh, loading faster. And besides that, AMP takes care about your photos, so it uh, makes it smaller just by itself. You don't have to take care about that really much. Tip number three. It's hosting your blog on S3. A lot of people who are setting up the blog or migrating it have this uh, issue like which hosting to select. Uh, we have to pay attention for the price, of course, because not from the start we are earning money on our blogs. We have to take care about the quality of the hosting and the easiness of use it. And when we are not using WordPress anymore, oh, we had a choice to uh, select something like exactly Amazon S3 or some people also using uh, GitHub pages. It's also a good solution. And I would say that the biggest uh, advantage of using S3 is that it's really, really, really cheap and it's easy to use. Uh, besides that, if you set up the Amazon S3 correctly, it's very secure. So you don't have to invest more money and time for additional maintenance of your server. And that's pretty cool. Point number four is about using CDN. If you know what is CDN, you can skip this part. If not, I will try to explain you really, really fast. So imagine that you are hosting your website somewhere in Sydney, Australia, right? And the audience, someone who would like to check your blog is sitting right now in Paris, in France, yeah? And it's like totally the opposite end of the world. And it takes some additional time for processing the content and display it in Paris from Australia. If you have CDN, your content is cached in different places of the world. So when someone from Paris would like to see it, then it's sent from the closest location from Paris, from Paris. And then it decreases the time of loading of the page. So uh, we are using Cloudflare. You can find lots of CDNs in the internet. But in some of the future videos, my friend will show you how to set it up. So pay attention and you can learn. Another thing that you can do to increase your ranking in the search results is taking care about meta description. What is meta description? It's the small piece of content that is set up on our page in the head section and it's about 150 uh, characters on Google. And when you are searching for something on Google, then you see in results the title, the link, and some piece of text. And meta description is this piece of text. So it should be like a summary of what's your article about. And remember to put there your keywords. It's, it's also very important. Another thing you can do to run higher on search results page is adding to your post something like table of content. What is table of content? I bet that you are using Wikipedia. Wikipedia has it on each page. It's like a header by header summary of the article. So if you are writing a list, then your table of content will have each point and it can be generated automatically. If you are still Using WordPress, you can select any plugin to create it for you. And for example, if you decide to migrate with us to Hugo and Amperage, then it can be done automatically. Uh, also, it can give you some points when uh, your page will be on the top of Google, so people will see these points really, really nice way. And the last thing that I would like to recommend you is to avoid additional JavaScript and CSS. If you don't have to add like additional animations or some additional, I don't know, shadows, colors, additional plugins, like something to enlighten a piece of text, avoid it, please. It will slow down your page. It will uh, load much more of JavaScript and the loading time will be like bigger. So if you don't have 
to use all these things to make it prettier, then avoid it and remember that in your blog the most important thing is to keep your users interested in your content to want them to stay and to make your blog the most user-friendly as possible and all those flying elements are not really user-friendly it looks good but it's not the best option for your blog okay we went through seven steps remember to stay with us for tomorrow where you will see how to migrate your wordpress blog to hugo and you, will, you can go with our tutorial step by step and besides that, I hope you will try some of uh, our tips and your SEO will boost like this and your loading time will be really, really small. So fingers crossed and before we'll say bye, remember to subscribe our channel and turn on the notifications. And if you like the video, remember about thumbs up and leave us a comment about your methods to increase the page speed of your blog or website. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video!